Okay, so I want to do three things. Um, the first thing is, who's hungry? Okay, so we've got a bunch of food out in the courtyard where you had lunch. Um, there's free food there. Um, please don't rush off. Stay around, meet new people, network, learn new stuff, discuss what happened today, uh, and see you in the courtyard. And you know, we'll be there for quite a long time. And when that shuts down, we'll go to the bar and the, the restaurant. We'll carry on there. So don't go anywhere, right? Let's do some networking. Let's get to know each other, and let's, let's talk about what happened today. Um, so that's the first thing. The second thing is I'd like to say thank you to some people who have helped make today reality. Um, firstly, to Richard, Ali, and Zinia. Um, they're the guys sitting in the back who have made this, a day, this day possible. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Um, it's been an incredible journey. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you for being a part of it. Um, to the guys who have helped us make this a, a, a kind of a commercial reality, I'm just going to run through a list here. I'm going to try not to take too long and, and do it too fast, but you know, uh, I know everyone wants to go get something to drink. So I'm going to go through this list very quickly. So MTN, obviously, um, talked about the ecosystem earlier, and I'm really happy that they've helped us make this vision a reality. To ThoughtWorks, um, they provided the conference app for us as well. Um, I really enjoyed the Agile talk now. You know, I come from a, a software background, and I thought that was very, very interesting, and certainly one of the more interesting Agile talks that I've heard. Um, they really want to get involved in the local ecosystem, and I think that's fantastic. Um, IBM, they did a Smart Camp launch in Africa uh, recently, and they're essential, uh, sorry, they, they were very instrumental in helping us with Ignite. Um, it's been fantastic having them on board. Google, um, it was really through Google's help that we managed to get the Hangout done this afternoon, um, and, and through that we reached the whole continent. So it's kind of fantastic to think that three years ago, we had the gerb of an idea, and today we're able to reach a whole continent. And that's fantastic. So I think that's something I'm really, really happy about. Uh, for Angel Hub, they helped us put Ignite together. Do you guys enjoy the pitches this afternoon? It was fantastic, right? It was really good seeing those guys stand up. So they helped us organize that, and they've been instrumental in doing that. Uh, to pay fast. They're the guys who have their names in your lanyards. Uh, to DMMA, Mobile Monday, and MMA. It's quite confusing, but thanks to those guys. Uh, to Internet Solutions. How was the broadband today? Pretty good? Pretty fast? So thanks to them. I mean, it's, it's been pretty seamless, um, and it, it's, it's made today a lot easier. So thanks to them for that. Uh, we've got a bunch of prizes from Mozilla, MyPhone, uh, and Warwick, and Realtime Wine. Sorry, that's, that's Warwick Wine Estate. Uh, I think the wine's been uh, ravenously wrapped up, and I think there's about nine bags left. So we'll see who gets there first. Um, to Everlytic, they, they helped us reach a, a bunch of people through their email platform. Um, it's been really helpful and, and, and really great working with them on that. To Mimi Board, they've created the boards on the, the right and left of the stage. Uh, to my phone, who helped us with prizes. Um, and then for the expo stands outside, so there's Geolink, Fraud Check, and CTU Training. Um, and then I think also something I'm really passionate about is our student sponsors. Um, you know, I said right in the beginning that the students of today are the leaders of tomorrow. It's an easy thing to say, but that's, that's a reality. And through Mobile Monday, Mimi Board, MTN, and ThoughtWorks, we were able to get students from the Af African Leadership Academy in Linden Hoos School here. So those guys are still here. I can't really see the, the crowd so well, but I, I know that they're still here. Thanks for coming, guys, and thanks for showing an interest. Um, and then we have some media partners, which has helped us get reach. Um, I've been trying to find a good way of figuring out how much reach we had today, because we, we got a lot. We got profiled on the, the Mail and Guardian, uh, CNBC, um, the BBC in three or four different countries. Um, and we just had an enormous amount of traffic and interest throughout the continent. And a lot of it was driven by the Twitter feed, which has, has gone off. Um, and so that reach has been fantastic. And that's kind of been the vision from the beginning. And the guys that have helped us do that are Tech Central, Biz Community, VC for Africa, Memeburn, IT Web, Silicon Cape, We Blog the World, and Deep Tweets. Deep Tweets. Um, how, who enjoyed Kim's talk? Fantastic, right? And who enjoyed uh, the, the entrepreneurship stuff earlier? I mean, isn't it interesting that, you know, when you may have walked in this morning, you may have thought, hey, you know, there's not that much opportunity in Africa. It's, it's kind of a closed ecosystem. It's not really doing that well. How do we do stuff? 
And then all of a sudden, you know, six hours later, eight hours later, you've heard from 10 people who have all disrupted various businesses and they've done it successfully and some unsuccessfully and they've been happy to talk about that. And I think that's fantastic. It's showing that there is an ecosystem out there and you can do stuff. I mean, after today, you would have learned about three more people who are building handsets for Africa. You know, two weeks ago, I didn't know, sorry, not two weeks ago, that, that's not fair. You know, two years ago, six months ago, nine months ago, I wouldn't have known who these guys were. And, you know, all you ever thought of was Apple and Samsung, right? Those are kind of your two big brands for, for handsets. And now we've got four or five of them. And, and we know that in two years' time, there's probably going to be another three or four because the market is huge. Lastly, um, event options, upstage. Dave, our photographer, where's Dave? There you are. Dave's been snapping away all day. Thanks very much. Um, so event options and upstage have helped us put this together. Um, I think if you were at Tech for Africa last year and the year before, I think this is an improvement. I think it makes us more like a tech conference. Uh, it's more engaging. Uh, I think there's a bunch of stuff we can do to improve, but we've certainly, I think, changed a little bit, and it's, it's looking better and feeling better. The Indaba Hotel have been really nice to us. Um, they, they've helped us make this a reality, and they've made it really easy. Um, so thank you to them for their help. SAB provided a bunch of beers for the hackathon yesterday, which was great. It's always nice getting free beer. Um, and Tex 100, which are IBM's PR agency, they helped us in the media room and, and gave us a bit of extra bandwidth. So if you look at that list and you look at where we came from in 2010, where we had, I think, two or three people helping us, and, and literally two or three people in big organizations, we've got a whole bunch of people who believe in this vision that we can build an ecosystem. So with a bit of luck, next year we'll have more people. Um, lastly, thanks to all the facilitators and to the speakers and the presenters. Thanks for taking out your time. Thanks for being here. Thanks for helping to, to create this environment where everyone can learn. Has anybody not learned anything? Anybody? Could anybody walk away today saying, I'm a poor person? <laughs> Hopefully not. And I think if, if we can do that, then we've achieved something. So that's fantastic. Um, lastly, we've got an after party. Um, in, in recent years, that's been a quite a big part of the event. I, I, you know, I kind of model Tech for Africa around South by Southwest. My memories of South by Southwest are not sitting in lecture halls listening to speakers, although, although they were very good talks that I went to. The, the best memories are 3 o'clock in the morning on 6th Street, um, talking to people in a bar and learning from them about their experiences. And I really would like to start building that kind of a culture and that kind of environment. I'm not saying that we should drink a lot, um, but I'm saying that we should do a lot more talking. Right? Because it's the face-to-face -face communication that matters and that actually builds things. And I think that's the one thing that South by Southwest gets really, really right because they've got a small town that gets overcrowded with loads of people and everyone has to talk. Right? That's one of the reasons why we had it at the Indaba Hotel is because we knew that if everybody was in one place, those conversations would be forced instead of everybody just dispersing at the end of the day because Joburg's a big town. So we've got a fully stocked bar. We've got some food for you guys. We try to make it as easy as possible. It's about 100 yards that way. Um, let's go and have some fun and let's enjoy the fact that we've got a content that's vibrant, we've got opportunities that are huge, and we've got a lot of people with the drive to go and do things. Let's make it happen. Thanks for coming. <laughs>